Hubbard is John Sori's uh, writer and director of The Danger Element. Uh, before I get started right now, I would like to bring to your attention two things that have caught my attention uh, within the last couple of weeks. Number one is the fourth episode of my pal Connor Anderson's web series, The Heroes of Reason. Fourth episode? You may be asking, what happened to the third episode? Why don't you people pay attention? Apparently Connor has some big plan to release the third episode out of order with the other episodes. Um, I don't know exactly how that works, but I guess that's the beauty of uh, producing your own web series, is nobody can tell you how to release it or in what order or what numbers to use when you type. Episode 4 of their series has a sweeping scope that is unusual for uh, productions as small as this one. Second is a web series that uh, captured my attention and caused me to lose sleep for two days. It's called Marble Hornets. Let me describe it like this. There's basically nothing on the internet that really holds my attention. I have a tendency to watch like long-form movies on, on DVD and Netflix and stuff rather than that. Uh, but the first episode of this thing was enough to make me want to click on the second episode, which was enough to make me want to click on the third episode. By the time I got to about the fifth episode, I was hopelessly addicted and I couldn't stop watching it, all 52 entries in a single day. And uh, I don't know if I'd recommend you doing the same thing, but you're probably going to. The guys that make that are really nice guys too. I, I started talking to them online almost immediately after I finished watching the series, which was awesome. And uh, definitely check this web series out. Like a lot of people already have, like hundreds of thousands of people, so I'm probably just late to the game on this. It's been running for like three years. So now let's move on to my project, The Danger Element, because that's why you're all here, right? Episode six is like finished, basically, but I always get to this point in the post-production process on every episode where the thing is is kind of done uh, but I'm obsessing over details things that I'm not sure are good enough yet uh, little bits of dialogue that I think might need to be re-recorded Glenn Gabriel who's my composer uh, has finished the entire soundtrack and it's great basically one major thing is going on right now and it's not very interesting I suffered terrible insomnia that comes and goes in, in weird cycles. I didn't sleep well night before last, and I didn't sleep at all last night. And sometime in the middle of last night, uh, Glenn and I were talking about the placement of a certain track, and I cannot seem to get it synced up in the right spot. And it's just kind of a funny situation because uh, going back and reading the emails this morning, like I could barely remember some of the stuff that we said to each other, which is rare for me. There's this thing that always seems to happen with me where Glenn and I have a system we set up where I can just match the time, we can just match the time code on the tracks. And it, it should theoretically work very easily, but somehow I tend to end up moving everything on the timeline so that it's not in the right place and then forget that I did it, or what I did, or how far I moved it. Honestly, I'm not prone to that kind of thing. For some reason, my past self keeps sabotaging my present work and making me look bad in front of Glenn Gabriel. Glenn, I apologize for my past self. I can't control his actions, apparently. One of the things that continually amazes me about Glenn is uh, he's incredibly patient uh, with me when this happens and even suggests that we just leave it the way it is, even though he's worked very hard to compose a piece of music that has sync points that are accurate within a hundredth of a second. Glenn, why are you so patient? You curse like a sailor, but you're one of the kindest people I've ever met. It's unnerving. Even more interesting is that not only has Glenn not stopped talking to me altogether, but he's actually tried sincerely to help me with my insomnia more than once. I'm just grateful he hasn't called the police. One of the big challenges for episode six is that every line of dialogue in it, it's been re-recorded uh, because the original recording wasn't quite good enough and I wanted it to sound better. So we recorded it in my living room. All except for one line, which I was going to use the original audio on, but I decided to replace it, which I think is gonna happen tonight. What do you want me to think? Same thing. 
Hey. Other than that, all that's left to do is the credits. It would seem like the credits would be the easiest thing, but it's actually the thing I, wor I look forward to the least on creating an episode. So I think it's safe to say that you're going to see this episode before the end of this month. You'll probably see episode 7 by the end of next month, which is February. Um, that's the best I can do as far as predicting how fast episodes are going to be coming out because the episodes after that are more complicated as far as post-production goes. So uh, I will let you know then. Thank you for your patience, and I'll see you next week.